Hey folks, Joe Baker, Trade Pilot Pro. Going to go over the price action today and what I'm seeing on a big picture. We did have a hammer, and anybody that knows the candlestick definitions of a hammer, uh, you know that's usually a price reversal. Um, so if you want to go out there and Google that candlesticks hammer, you know you can get the, the the proper terminology for that. But it is usually a price, re, you know. A reversal in the market so here is the January low and we tested that right there on about 4.8 million shares came back here this is the Bear Stearns debacle we took that out that low out by about a point and a half and we retested that on 3.8 so a million less contracts traded here and about another million and a half less today which You'd like to see some real capitulation and, and really take this out and not take price out, you know, take this volume area, and that would show a true capitulation. So that's one thing that a little concerns me, whether this whole move is over or not. What we usually see in the markets intraday is what I watch for is this destruction candle here, this price destruction, this clearing candle down in a sideways move usually the move will head back down again so right now we've got to get over about the 1300 and close above that and hold that level and then we can get up to about the 1330 1334 area and then that would be the next area where we could get above and then get kind of some some movement here to the upside it's a long ways away i know but we are averaging about 24 points a day on this s p so we should be able to get some type of either side more sideways action without any more price destruction. And what I'm looking to hold, see to hold tomorrow would be the, the 1273 area. If we can hold the 1273 area, I think we can get some sort of an upward swing in this market. Uh, we can get back down in here in this price rejection zone in here, but hold this low, this one here. As you see, we had this tweezer bottom over here about the same level. So that's a very important level, the 73, 72 area. Very, very important tomorrow in the market to see if we're going to actually be able to hold this and have this pattern work out as a reversal. But we will, uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's look at tomorrow's charts. Okay, here's the pivot levels for tomorrow. I am drawing my line in the sand at 1280. 275. That's 1282 1283 area. Okay, this is my line in the sand. I am bearish below and bullish above. So if we are going to break down, I'm going to be looking for these areas of support to either buy from, look for bounces, or fade. So if the market comes down, hits that, fades, come down, comes up again, comes back down this type of you know this type of rolling action to the upside same thing see if it can hold this pivot area here come back down come back up come back down come back up come back down come back up that's usually how we trade these pivots a lot of you guys were wondering how how do you trade you know how how do these pivots work and that's what we usually do is on the way up we look for areas of of resistance we'll usually fade them a little bit and see if they can't take them out on the next upswing so on the upside, we've got 1286.50. We've got 1290. We got a buy zone coming in at 1292.25 with an ultimate target of 1304.50. We will have some level of resistance at 1294.75, 1299.50, and 13 about 13 even 13 and a quarter. Ultimately, to get to the 1304.50 would be the target. Downside break would be 1280 with a target of 1268. We will have some level of resistance at this 1273, which again, that 1273 area is at 12. That's that area I was talking about prior where that really should hold. So if we do get the break, uh, you want to be very cautious around this area that we don't reverse and come right back up and I don't want you guys giving back any profits. Um, if we do break this area then obviously we have the 1269.50 area and then ultimately the 1268. Underneath 
this 1268. We have 6575, 6125, which I actually put that out today. Uh, one of you guys had responded and said, you know, what are we looking at now? Now that, you know, our target was hit early on in the morning at 65. And I told them I would have to wait. You know, some of our dynamic levels will kick off usually within a half hour of the day's, uh, day's open. And that 12... 6125 popped in and it's going to be here tomorrow and obviously it did hit it actually uh, I think we got to 12 I mean a 1261 area came in and that 1261 was tested and, and rejected quite a bit uh, a break of 1261.25 tomorrow we would probably get down to this 1268.50 area I'm mean, 12.56 area now if we get down to this 12.56 area this is <coughs> obviously that 1257 that I've been watching in that 125550 from those two prior swing lows back in January and in March um, I hope they hold I don't know if we will get a big volume down trend tomorrow uh, where we did get such price rejection today and rally uh, tomorrow could be just a boring sideways day and if that is the case then what we would probably do in that case is look for the market to stay in between this 1292.25 area to 12.80 and a market could kind of chop along this area in here and we'll see what happens we'll, we'll take it however it comes and uh, trade the patterns that's all we that's all we look for uh, so at any rate guys um, that's it uh, for tonight I will. Uh, I'll be putting some uh, intraday updates over on Elite Trader. I'll uh, start my thread tomorrow. And remember, guys, um, please subscribe so I know you guys are watching these and uh, you're getting something out of it. And uh, take care. And I will see you tomorrow.